Welcome back, everyone. KJ4YZI. You're watching Ham Radio Concepts, and I think I've settled on it in this micro series. This is the analyzer that I want the Rig Expert AA1500 Zoom. If I could have any of them in the lineup, this is the one I want. I'll tell you why in a minute. But right now, we're going to check this one out. And if you haven't seen the Rig Expert playlist on my YouTube channel, check out that. You first got to subscribe, turn on notifications, go to hamradioconcepts.com. Join the newsletter because these emails come out once a week. No, I'm not going to spam you. And they will come out and tell you, hey, look what you missed. I got videos all over the place. You got to check that out so it's in your email. The Rig Expert AA1500. Thank you, Gigaparts, for sending all of the Rig Expert analyzers for me to borrow so I can make these videos. And I myself have determined which one I want forever. And it's this one right here, the AA1500. Let's check it out right here on Ham Radio Concepts. So this one here looks like the, the previous model is the green family of antenna analyzers, and that's not the case. This is the AA1500 Zoom. And not only does it do from DC to, to 1500 megahertz with USB connectivity on the bottom, comes with the USB cable, it's got the end connector on top. It does take three AA batteries that you'll see here in a second to power it, but it's got features that you can sweep an entire band and zoom in right to where you want to see and everything about that plot on the chart is on the AA1500. So if I wanted to show you what was in here, what does this come with? Well, the zoom models of these analyzers, okay, uh, have usually a color screen. And to, to pair with that, they have a color manual here. And the manuals are really well written. Look at this, right? So you may be thinking, wow, Eric, you showed us every manual on all of these, and what does that do for me? Well, you know what? Everybody needs to know what this thing does and how to do it, and the manual's there. I like the zoom functions and the zoom models better than I like the ones that are not zoom. Will they still be effective for like the AA1400 non-zoom or the AA600 non-zoom? Yes, they'll still be usable. But I like the zoom one, and again, this is the one that I'm really going to want. And of course, the trend is showing they all come with this case that you can put it in when you're at field day and people want to borrow your analyzer. They're not going to, you know, mess up the, uh, the, the screen. And, and I'm very picky. You guys know me. You've seen it before. I'm not taking that screen protector off unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> so this one as well comes with three rechargeable AA batteries, and these are 2,700 milliamp hours, okay? I suggest charging all these first before you use the thing, and they do come with the charger here. This is a quick charger, so it won't take eight hours like the old nickel metal hydride chargers and stuff. And actually, you could use this on a very simple solar setup with an inverter and stuff and charge these batteries and always have power out in the field when you're out there. USB cable shielded. USB cable. I keep, you'd think I would remember that by now after all these videos. And of course, the strap and the N to SO239 adapter for this. Now, everything, if you're not familiar and you've never seen this video before, everything above the AA230 is going to have an N connector on the top because N connectors are lower loss and more accurate at higher frequencies like UHF, 800 megahertz, you know, 1.2 gigahertz, and they give you an adapter. But I'm going to tell you this, guys, and I've mentioned this before. This is a self calibrating does not require you to calibrate this every single time you use it, okay? That's a plus for me. And I'm gonna tell you why. I even have at work an Anritsu Sightmaster that is more, I would say, in the industry standard, way more competent than this thing, but you're talking, what, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000? But you gotta calibrate it every single time you use it and when you change bands. At the same time, that little Nano VNA analyzer, the little Chinese handheld, uh, $59 Amazon, forget it. You, you want to go this frequency, you put the open, the load, the shorten and the load, then you do that, then you got to change it. And it's hard to see in the sunlight. This thing right here is not a $59 Chinese analyzer. Your comments below if you think, wow, Eric, this is nothing more than a VNA. I would love to try to respond to every comment and tell you why you're wrong, but you know, Rig Expert makes a really good piece. In the commercial world, you may have something that is up to 1500 megahertz. For me, as the reason why I want this is because I can do everything from HF, VHF, Marine, GMRS, UHF, 800, 900 megahertz. And when I get another 
ICOM 9700, which I had to sell to get this house, that's got 1.2 gigahertz on it. And I really never got to use 1.2 gigahertz on there. And if you're the person that bought my 9700 on Facebook, comment right now and tell me how you like that because I desperately miss that radio. All right, let's fire it up. Color screen, okay? And uh, let's see, so if you're not familiar with these videos, this thing will show you SWR at one frequency or at five at one time, or you can sweep the entire spectrum from DC to 1500 megahertz on a graph and zoom in and see exactly what's happening at one specific frequency. So for those who are building their own antennas or tuning antennas at field day or, or in a commercial world, if you're using this for a commercial world, this right here will show you all the reactance, resistance, inductance, capacitance, SWR, and so on. So for instance, uh, this one looks a little different now. So, and you can also use this as a TDR. So you can use this to shoot cable or feed lines so that if you want to uh, check your feed line, go into your tower or up your tower and see exactly where the barrel is that might be causing a problem with a reflected power. You could use this time domain reflectometer and see exactly what's happening on your feed line without even stepping outside. That's a pretty good thing. So first I'm gonna go up here. So, and you can't, now I'm gonna show you this. Someone mentioned this. Well, you see calibrate on here. Yes, you can calibrate it if you have to. You shouldn't have to. And you gotta have the appropriate loads to do that. So SWR meter, okay? Now, you see how the nice color display? This is why I want the 1500 versus the 1400. I like that. So we're gonna do uh, 10 meters. So we're gonna go to frequency. Let's see, frequency range, 0, 0, 2, 8, 4, 50. And start. 1.11 to 1 SWR on this antenna that's outside at 10 meters. That's pretty much flat. Now, if you want to go to, uh, let's see, frequency, let's go, um, yeah, let's do, uh, let's just for the heck of it, let's see what 60 meters looks like. We haven't checked that yet. Zero, um, zero, five, three, three, zero. I think that's somewhere around 60 meters. 1.63 to one, wow. A great shortwave listening antenna that's outside. Multi SWR, all right? And one, two, three, four, five. So the first one, I'll go frequency, and I'll do zero, 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 uh, one, nine, two, zero, 160 meters. And we'll go down here, we'll go to zero, zero, 28, four, 90. And we'll go down here, we'll go to FM portion of 10 meters, um, zero, two, nine. 620. Nope, that's wrong. That is wrong. Look at that. Zero, zero, two, nine, six, two, zero. Go down here and we're going to go, let's see, let's go way up here. Let's go uh, frequency. Let's go zero, nine, 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 nine. Okay. And we'll leave the other one at 750. Hit start. Look at that. Now, uh, again, I'm not sure how this antenna that's outside, undisclosed antenna, will not tell you what it is, why it's showing me that at 999, but I know for a fact that 160 meters and 10 meters uh, are, are those values. So maybe up here, being that that's only 40 something feet long on that antenna outside, it's not meant for anything more than, you know, 10, 12, 20, 40, that's it. Um, and, and this is what it's showing me, but five bands at one time. Now, if I wanted even more than that, I can go to Smith chart. If I go down here to, let's see, function, and we'll go to 10 meters. Ten meters and start. There's your 10 meter Smith chart right here, okay? SWR chart. Now on this, I can get a frequency range and I can go like this. You ready? All bands. And it's going to sweep everything that this hand, analyzer can handle. Ready? Look. 
Now here's where the zoom function comes in. Because I can I can go over here. And I can start zooming in, look. Right there, you're at uh, one point, uh, let's see. Yeah, less than 1.2 to one, right there at this frequency up top. And that's what the zoom feature is good at, see? You can look at a specific section of the band to see exactly what's happening on an entire chart. The AA1000, AA1400 doesn't have the zoom function, so it kind of gives you a chart and that's it, okay? So this is very good for using um, a multi-band vertical, a multi-band VHF, UHF antenna, uh, a trapped band, a trapped nine-band HF vertical, or a long wire that's supposedly do 160 to six meters. You can watch all of it at one time. That's why I like the zoom functionality compared to one that's not zoom. So let's go here to all parameters. Now, this will show me everything at a snapshot on what's happening for reactants, resistance, impedance, return loss, capacitance, inductance, the phase, everything at one time. And this looks a little bit better than it does on one that's not a zoom model, okay? You go to setup, this has Bluetooth on it. First, you can change the color of the palette to fit those who are probably colorblind or visually impaired. Uh, but this does have Bluetooth on it. And with Bluetooth, someone asked me, you never showed the Bluetooth functionality. Yes, yeah, so you could use this Bluetooth to the computer without having to connect a USB cable to it. So maybe we'll check that out in a future video on the Bluetooth functionality. But Bluetooth in the Zoom models do exist on Rig Expert units. Another plus that has Bluetooth. I'm not sure if they have an app. We could probably check out and see if they have a Rig Expert app. I'm not sure. But a lot of laptops and stuff have Bluetooth on it. You can link right up to it and connect to your analyzer to do plots and Smith charts and every kind of plotting for your antennas on your computer without even connecting the USB cable. It's a great thing. So I gotta say, this is the analyzer that I want, the AA1500 Zoom, and uh, Rig Expert makes a great, a great piece. If you're looking at something that doesn't have so much frequency range or a lesser price tag, let's say you want the AA600 um, uh, Zoom, you know, to go all the way up to UHF. That video is on my channel as well, you can check that out. But the last one in this series of these analyzers is the AA2000. And it's not Zoom, but we're gonna check that out just to see for those who haven't known. But also we have the AA230 Stick and the Stick Pro. We're gonna check those out very soon. But stay tuned, go to hamradioconcepts.com, join the newsletter, subscribe, turn on notifications, go to the link in the description. Gigaparts has given you 5% off for any one of these devices that you wanna buy just for being a follower. Go to hamradioconcepts.com. Click the link underneath each one of these videos or go to the description below this and look for the link, click it. You'll get a 5% discount on any of your expert device. Thank you, Gigaparts, for helping me out with that. And 7.3. This is KJ4YZI. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com.